hello everyone so today in this video we are going to create a ndvi map using sentinel 2 imagery for that case uh, we have downloaded the sentinel 2 data uh, and then we will be using two bands which which will be band 8 and band 4 for the creation of ndvi map uh, for that case uh, in order to create an ndvi map we, we we must have two types of that uh, band that is uh, <coughs> one will be near infrared band and uh, another will be red light so near infrared band for sentinel 2 imagery is band 8 and for red light it will be band 4 so we'll be using these two data for creating our ndv map so let's start our map creation process so i'll open open it uh, sorry, I'll open ArcGIS and I have this data Sentinel 2 imagery. So I'll go inside this inside granule. I'll go to L2A in image data. I'll go with resolution 10 meter and then I'll add two, two band, band 4 and band 8 inside our ArcGIS. So inside ArcGIS, I will add this data. Now I have this, uh, I have one area of interest that is Sira municipality. So I will zoom to my layer. So okay, I will keep that angle of my band from inside, and then I'll uh, go to inside Arc Toolbox. I'll go to Special Analyst Tool. Where is Special Analyst Tool? Special Analyst Tool, and then inside the Special Analyst Tool, I'll go to Map Algebra, and inside Map Algebra, I will go with raster calculator inside raster calculator we will use the formula so float f band combination band 8 minus band 4 divided by 4 band 8 plus band 4 so for the output raster i will say here which will be ntvi.tif and then I'll save this ntvi.tif and then for inside environment we'll go with processing extent inside extent we'll use same as layer same layer as layer uh, sira municipality.project that is uh, my area of interest and then I'll go with raster analysis and I'll go with mask as sira municipality project this is my area of interest now I'll click OK. So you can do OK. It will create the NDBI map of that area of your area of interest. So okay, this is the NDBI map. So I'll go with symbolization so inside symbology. <coughs> I'll go with properties in symbology and I'll change the color ramp. Okay, I'll keep this as a color ramp and then I'll invert and then apply okay so <coughs> this is our ndbi map of uh, my area of interest this uh, red area shows the uh, building footprints maybe settlement areas and green shows the green will shows the agricultural land so in this way we can create our ndbi map using sentinel 2 imagery I hope you like this video so if you like this video please subscribe this channel and comment if you have any questions related to GIS or anything I will be helping you throughout the process thank you very much